the, uh, the allegations against Congressman Conyers, as we have learned more since uh, Sunday, are serious, disappoint disappointing, and very credible. It's very sad. Uh, the brave women who have come forward are owed justice. Uh, I pray for Congressman Conyers and his family and wish them well. However, Congressman Conyers should resign. Uh, as dean, Congressman Conyers has served our, co our Congress for more than five decades and shaped some of the most consequential legislation of the last half century. However, zero tolerance means consequences for everyone. No matter how great the legacy, it's no license to harass or discriminate. In fact, it makes it even more disappointing. Yesterday, the House took a first step mandating sexual harassment and discrimination training. That resolution on the floor, uh, the next step, and very important for us, to Congress, to pass. That's a resolution in the House to mandate uh, non-discrimination and non-sexual -har harassment training for the House. The Senate had their own resolution, which they passed. However, the next step is a bill that must pass the House and the Senate, and that's the Me Too Congress Act to create greater transparency and accountability in the broking reporting and settlement system. That is being discussed now. Maybe uh, some uh, additions will be made. Again, uh, we, we will all work together to lead the fight against sexual harassment and abuse, not only in Congress, but in every workplace across the country, everywhere in our country. As far as Capitol Hill is concerned, we want to be sure that everyone who works here, who might be a victim of this, whether it's staff to staff, member to staff, member to member, understands it's all over. There's a new day. And the uh, courage of the women coming forward is something that is uh, making a big difference. But also the attitude in the country, which I think some of it springs from the election of Donald Trump as president. That's all.